what's going on YouTube back with another video today I just want to talk a little bit about um, some new speakers that I got for the Tacoma and so I'm not a uh, car stereo audio uh, I'm not an expert in the field of course of course this I, I, I tell you man whenever you record a video and what's crazy whatever that dumpster sound is you hear in the background I can't even see it so it has to be like across the street somewhere but it never fails I try to find like a quiet spot and it's it's police cars going by people walking by with dogs talking on their cell phone garbage trucks driving by people blasting the radio if I could tell you how many times I got to start I'm not even gonna start this video over but it's just amazing to me how as soon as I click record uh, some kind of random noise happens in the background but anyway so I'm not a car stereo expert right but when I got this vehicle, um, what happened was it came with kind of a different type of uh, setup in the truck. So the guy took out the stock speakers, except for the tweeters, put in some kickers in the back, some uh, entry level kickers in the back and in the front. He had, definitely had an amp and a sub in the back because he had all the wires already connected. So, um, but he took the amp and the sub out. So when I got the truck, only thing it had in there was the kicker speakers. So the kicker speakers that replaced the factory speakers didn't sound all that bad, but there was no amp to really push them. So I really didn't get to find out how good of a speaker they were until I got my own amp. So in a previous video, I've already kind of showed you what equipment that I bought. The JL Audio Amp, the kicker 10 inch sub, and I had bought, um, I'm sorry, I had kept the kicker speakers that were already in the truck. Well, when the, um, audio, the uh, car audio installation uh, team basically started setting my truck up and doing the inst install, they realized that the back kicker speakers, one of them had blown on the right side. So I had to get some replacements and I didn't have time to go and research or you know try to find any that I really wanted so he was like well the best that I can do right now that I have in store would be some Alpine S series speakers he said well don't really worry about the back too much and he's right because the back first off I don't really have anyone sitting in the back and then that's just not the back really isn't where I'm gonna hear much of the sound anyway the front is really what I need to worry about so he was like for what these speakers can do and the materials of what these are made of you know I think they'll, they'll do just fine in the back so he installed those in the back, those were fine. So maybe about a week after he did the install of the amp and the uh, sub, the kicker speaker on the right side um, on the front blew. And so I bought some new ones, the exact same ones, the kickers, I think it's the CS series, replaced the speaker, a week later it blew again. And that's when I realized, okay, it's not necessarily just the speaker, it's, this, this amp must be too powerful for these entry level speakers and sure enough that's what it was for whatever reason the left side was fine so I went back to the audio place and he was like look you know you're buying these kicker entry level speakers the materials that are on the speakers aren't really going to even though the wattage is going to be fine they're not really going to be able to handle the power that the amp is pushing and so he recommended the R series Alpine speakers now this set of speakers is close to I think $320 retail I got it on sale for $70 off. I think I paid like $250 for this set. And this is a component speaker set. So what that means is, for those of you who don't know, the tweeters and the 6x9 speakers are separate and you have the crossovers um, with the set. So basically it's not coaxial, it's not a built-in 3-in-1 or 2-in-1 speaker. So basically, I'll just show you what I have in the back are these set of speakers. These are the coaxial Alpine S65 um, six and a half uh, speakers, and they can take up to 80 watts. I think the amp is pushing out 75 watts uh, per speaker. And then this is the big boy. This is the ones that I just recently purchased. And I was gonna go with uh, JL, but he recommended these for the price and for the materials that you get with this thing, it's a really good speaker. So I bought these. This is the Alpine RS69 C.2 um, component two-way speaker. 
system and it can hold up i mean it can power i mean it can handle i'm sorry it can handle 100 watts uh per speaker and yeah so basically um got these installed on yesterday and i'm talking about world of a difference and sound world of a difference in uh sound quality uh as well and again i wasn't looking for something that was bass bumping too hard or too much trouble i wanted something that was clear that had bass but it just sound good overall that's the kind of stereo that i like and i haven't built or, or dealt with stereo speakers and cars since high school so i'm really out of that game but it was a real learning experience the cool thing was being that i had a lot of problems with my speakers with the amp you know basically blowing them out um my guy actually did install these uh free of charge the component speakers that i just bought uh, uh got installed yesterday which is the uh the r series speaker so really appreciate him a uh, shout out to greg at electronics depot in altamont springs florida i've already kind of threw in a, a little promo for him in a past video but really good guy and the thing is is fair prices and he's going to look out for you you know what i'm saying he easily could have charged me 150 dollars for this install but he knew i was having problems uh blowing out the other speakers so he just did it with no charge and so i really appreciate that um if you're ever in orlando or live in orlando or the orlando area definitely check out electronics depot in altamont springs now with that being said i'll do another sound test for you guys just to hear how these actually sound and um, I also wanted to show something after I'm done with this sound test regarding tweeters in the Tacoma because the stock tweeters, a lot of people, if you look at the forums, people are saying they don't like, they have problems with, you know, they're cheap tweeters. What, what do they recommend as far as aftermarket tweeters? Well, I'll kind of talk a little bit about that, but I highly recommend just going with the Alpine set personally. Um, I think they'll sound great in the in the Tacoma. So let's do a sound test and let you guys check out the new speakers. Not even the volume of this stereo can go up to 60 I'm like at 48 so I'm not going all the way up to 60 because I just don't I don't even want a chance trying to blow these things out but these things sound really really good man Try another song real quick.
that's that's basically just a sound test, guys, and let you know it sounds good, man. Sounds really, really good, like 200% better than what I had before. So I guess I'm just really excited about it because I've been having problems with this. I've been trying to get the stereo situated with this thing since I bought this truck. So finally, it seems like it's done. So that's one thing off my plate. Um, in the meantime, let me show you something real quick just for people who are wondering because I know some people have questions about this thing. So let me show you guys what tweeters actually come with this truck. These are the factory tweeters that came with the Tacoma. As you can see, they're a paper cone, has a little bit of foam around it, um, has the built-in um, the built-in automatic connector uh, for the factory cable inside the uh, inside the dash. These don't sound that bad, even though they are a paper cone tweeter. They really don't sound that bad. Now, this is what everybody is starting to find out or do. These are tweeters that are actually made by Subaru. This is an actual genuine Subaru part. Uh, the part is H631SFJ101 tweeter speaker kit. Now, even though this is for Subaru vehicles, this will actually fit and it is a, it is a uh, plug and play for the Tacoma third generation truck. Now, I want you, I just want you to take a look at something real quick. Oops. Here is the Subaru Genuine uh, Tweeter. It has the foam on it as well. And as you can see, it has the built-in plug and play clip on it. So this can actually plug into your factory um, dash. I mean, your factory Tweeter dash compartment. And it is, you can tell, the exact same size of the factory tweeter. So here's your factory Tacoma tweeter paper cone. Here's your kicker uh, Subaru genuine part tweeter. And this is a kicker tweeter and it has the exact same mount and everything on it. So this actually snips, I mean, I'm sorry, snips. This actually uh, snaps in plug and play just like your factory tweeter would. Now, these are going for, I've seen as cheap as anywhere from 100 to $120. And they do sound a little bit better. I will say for the most part, these tweeters actually do make a difference. But I will say it depends on your audio setup. Now, if you're using your stock um, speakers, and if you don't have an amp, I would recommend these kicker tweeters. If you're setting up your system where you have an amp or you have different door speakers than what came with the factory ones, then this is going to be hit or miss. It just depends on how the setup is in your truck on how good these are going to sound with the rest of your speakers. To me personally, I wasn't going to keep these in getting the R-Series Alpine speakers because they come with component tweeters that are built in, I'm sorry, that are uh, that are match the actual speaker. So I'm keeping all of that as a set. I didn't want to use Alpine component um, speakers and then use these um, kicker uh, aftermarket speakers um, because those have crossovers and I wanted everything just to be the same on that. So I probably will end up selling these. Um, they're brand new. I have no problems with them. Um, let me see. I don't know. I think I paid 110 for them. So I may let them go for like 80 bucks just because they're slightly used or whatever the case may be. But um, I mean, literally, I probably had them in there for a week before I ended up taking them out. But it is kind of cool that you can get an aftermarket tweeter, you know, from a different car company. And it is a kicker tweeter. It's not like it's a Subaru tweeter. It's an actual kicker tweeter. Um, so if people are wondering about that, yes, you can do it. It does fit fine. And it will be an upgrade to your tweeter depending on how you already have your audio system set up in your Tacoma. So I just kind of wanted to go over that information for those of you who are wondering, does it work? Is it real? Um, can it actually happen? Yes, it can. And yes, you can um, get that particular tweeter set. So other than that, guys, I just wanted to show you um, and just talk a little bit about that upgrade. And I'm done pretty much with uh, with speakers. I think the only thing at this point left that I want to do to the truck as an upgrade would be to upgrade the actual rims. Um, I'm not going to upgrade the tires as of yet because they still have life in them. 
so but I, I do want to upgrade the rim so that's probably going to be next but it probably won't be anytime like soon as far as like within the next month or so I'm sure probably maybe before the end of the year I'll probably get some new some new rims for it and I'm on the fence about which ones I want to do but uh but yeah I will end up um getting some of those oh one more thing I wanted to show you that I recently got was the WeatherTech uh visors um which fit perfectly uh bought these used from a guy for 20 bucks <laughs> on offer up if y'all are not using offer up and let go man i highly recommend you use those apps yeah they are used and yeah they got some scratches on them and stuff like that but guess what i only paid 20 bucks for mine and they work for the purpose that i need them for and you can't even see the scratches unless you're up close so other than that hey i don't care um saved me about a hundred dollars so i'm cool with that but anyway, just want to show you that, give you guys an update, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.